What's going on? What's happening, fellas? It's your boy, KD. Let's get right into it. So if you're new to my channel, the point of my videos is to help you become a top tier man, live a fulfilled life, and ultimately become the best version of yourself. So today I'm going to give you guys some advice that I wish I was told when I was in my 20s. And if you take my advice today, I guarantee you in your 30s, in your 40s, as well in your 50s, and so on and so forth, you will have a better life. All right, fellas, let's get right into it. So the main piece of advice that I wish I was told in my 20s and now that I'm in my 30s, I definitely would have listened to it if I can go back, is that men in their 20s should definitely wait to date. All right, fellas. Now, I understand when you are in your 20s, you have a load of testosterone, a load of desire for women. But if you can contain this desire and be disciplined and do the things that I'm going to tell you today, you will be much more proud of yourself later on in life. All right. I believe the biggest downfall for men is women. And this is not to necessarily say that this is women's fault, because obviously as men, we choose the type of women that we want to deal with or date. But the biggest downfall for men is women. All right. If you look at any man's major downfall, most of the time outside of drugs and things like that, it will all boil down to a woman. And yes, even with the drugs and alcohol and bad habits, it usually stems from a woman. All right. Maybe a guy's trying to impress a woman or maybe he's trying to get more women or date more women or sleep with more women. But most of the problems that men have in life is because of women. But if you're in your 20s and you can abstain from women, all right, entirely, trust me, your life will be 10 times better. All right. Now, as a man who dated a lot in his 20s, that's when I did most of my damage, fellas, in my 20s. All right. I would really sound like a hypocrite to tell you not to date in your 20s because that's what I did. But I'm speaking to you from a source of wisdom. All right. Like your big brother. I'm telling you, I made the mistake. I don't want you to make the mistake as well. One of the areas where your life will be much more fulfilled if you abstain from women in your early 20s, in your mid 20s, or even in your late 20s, is that you will be able to stack your money or build a business or work on your career. All right, fellas, because when you're in your 20s, you want to have fun. All right. I know girls want to have fun, but guys want to have fun, too, in their 20s. They want to live life. They want to enjoy. They want to experience things and navigate the world to learn more. But fellas, in your 20s, the best thing to do to learn more and to learn experiences and learn about life is to learn from people above you. All right. Yes, the best teacher is experience, but also another great teacher is learning and observance and knowledge and wisdom. All right, fellas. But in your 20s, this is your opportunity to stack your money, build your business, build your career. A lot of guys, and I did this as well, in their 20s, every time they make money, they want to spend it on having fun. They want to, and usually the fun is with women. They want to spend it on dates. They want to spend it on sipping and tricking for girls. This is a mistake because the typical journey of a man's life is in his 20s. He wastes his 20s chasing women. Sometimes he wastes some of his 30s chasing women. Most men don't usually get it together to mid 30s going into their 40s. And then they don't actually get to enjoy the fruits of life until their 50s and 60s. But if you can contain yourself in your 20s, if you can be disciplined and take care of your finances, build your credit, learn about money, build your business, build your career, whatever career you're in, work on your purpose, work on your purpose, your life will be better even just in your 30s. All right, fellas. So I'm speaking to you from experience. If I can go back to my 20s, the number one thing I would do is abstain from women. I just wouldn't date because now that I'm in my 30s and I don't date, I, I can see the benefit of that. All right. But I can just imagine how I would be in my 20s when I had much more energy, much more charisma, a lot more strength in my body and mind. All right, guys, because obviously as you get older, you start to lose things as a man. But if you can take care of business in your 20s when you have the most youth, guys, Man, dude, you will blow past so many men. You will blow past 90% of men. Trust me on this, fellas. And another reason why you guys should definitely wait to date into your 30s or 40s when you're much more established is for the simple fact that women usually date up. And this is usually in the financial sense. All right. And this is just simply hypergamy. 
All right, a lot of, and, and there's this like conflicting view of this nowadays in like the dating market that it says, you know, according to women's hypergamy, they want to date up. They want to date a man who's doing better than them. And there's another side of the coin that says that women only want the top 10% of men. Now, I don't believe it's entirely women's fault that they want the top 10% of men because obviously women want men who are better than them in most realms. All right, but there is a large contingent of women who are, are just regular ass chicks and some of these women aren't worth the damn, but they still want the top men. All right, so that's something you have to deal with as well. This is reality, all right? I know it sucks. I know a lot of women are entitled these days and they want more than they actually deserve, but this is what it is, all right? This is what it is. If you are on any type of dating app or social platform, you can see this. The women these days only want the top five to 10% of men. So you have to understand this reality and stop burning your 20s chasing girls and build yourself up. You will have a much better chance and a higher probability of getting you a high value woman. So the fact that women want to date up, yes, a lot of it has to do with their entitlement, but a lot of it has to do with hypergamy. Okay, so you have to understand this. Hypergamy does exist and it is very prevalent, especially in the world today with the dating market being so global and so small because of social media. All right, so there are some things that are going on in society today that are out of whack, but it is what it is. But if you wanna heighten your chances of successful women and be more attractive in your 30s and 40s, build yourself in your 20s because the reality is women date up. All right, women date up, even the women who are not entitled and don't have this narcissistic worldview and are not feminist, they still date up. You can't get around this. Even the most feminine, conservative, modest women still will desire to date up. All right, so in your 20s, work on yourself. Because to be honest, in your 20s, you have no business taking women serious anyway, because most women that you're gonna meet are gonna be around your age. The simple fact is if you're 25, and you meet a girl who's 25. Remember I said women like to date up. And if you're 25 and you meet a woman that is 25, she is normally, if she's beautiful, at the peak of her sexual marketplace value. At 25, you're usually at the beginning, all right? Just at the beginning of your sexual marketplace value. And you don't usually build that up until you hit your mid-30s, all right? So you don't have any business taking women seriously anyway in your early 20s because because you have nothing significant to offer them in a real relationship. That is the simple truth about it, all right? You're just a kid. Bro, when I was 22, 23, 24, I felt like a kid because I really didn't accomplish anything yet. I wasn't established. And even if I would have had a lot of money at 25, I didn't have enough time to sustain those finances to be confident and comfortable enough to lead a relationship with a woman, all right, guys? So dating in your 20s, don't do it, guys. Don't do it because you'll meet 25-year-olds who want you to take them on expensive dinners. And the reason why is because they can find a 40-year-old man who will do the same, who's much more established. And he actually can do that, all right, without breaking a sweat. So in your 20s, be patient. Work on yourself. You should be building knowledge, wisdom, skill, experiences in your 20s that can carry you on to your 30s. And you'll be a much more interesting man. All right, another big reason why guys in their 20s should wait to date is the chances of having children. Look, I have children. And again, I'm telling you this from experience. I love my children, G, 100%. That's one of the best gifts that I've ever been given from God. But if I can go back to my 20s and rewind the clock, I would definitely wait until my mid or late 30s to have children. 100% guys, because the amount of time, energy, and resources that I spent in my 20s worrying about children, dealing with baby mama drama, and all this other stuff that goes along with having children, if I would have avoided that, man, I'd be way further than I am right now, physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. All right, because when you have children, bro, that is a huge responsibility. You're basically putting another you on this planet. And what I mean by that is you're basically putting another human being on this planet that you're responsible for outside of yourself. Okay, guys, so it's double the trouble. And God forbid you have more than one. All right, I know guys that had kids, multiple kids in their 20s, really talented guys, and they straight up ruined their life. And now they're working hard as hell in their 30s and 40s just to maintain these children.
Now they got to put aside their goals and their dreams just to take care of maintaining children and barely making ends meet. All right, fellas. So you have to be wise. Again, I understand women are beautiful, man. I love being around women. But at the same time, when you're in your 20s, you have to understand the longevity of life. All right. That life is not just your 20s. You got to live through your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s and God willing long than that. All right, fellas, so you got to be wise. Learn from the men who have made the mistakes so you can avoid making those mistakes and you will have a much better life. Right, guys, and the biggest thing and the biggest reason why you need to wait and avoid dating in your 20s is because of time. Now, let me be clear about this. I am not saying that you need to just totally remove women from your life and not deal or talk to women. But women should not be a priority. All right, guys, they should not be a priority. Let me give you an example. If you're 22 years old and there's a chick who wants to go out on a date with you, you can agree to the date. That is totally fine. Agree to the date. Agree to the date. You know what I'm saying? But still try to find more productive and beneficial things to do with your time. All right. So let's say you book a date with a girl Thursday at 9 p.m. If it's Tuesday and you got two days into that day, still try to find something more productive to do with your time Thursday night at nine. All right. And if something more productive comes up, if you can find something productive to do, which is not hard if you're in your 20s because you got a lot of stuff to do or a lot of stuff to get done and accomplished. But if you can find something to do at that time, postpone the date, cancel the date and get some work done. All right, fellas, I I'm not telling you, you just got to not deal with women at all. All right, guys, but your work, your progress, your future, your fitness, your spirituality, your emotional intelligence, all the things that are going to make you a better man later on in your life, that should be priority. So if you have a choice between going out with a girl or working on a business, work on your business. If you have a choice between going to the gym and going to hang out with a chick, go to the gym. This should be your priorities in your 20s. All right. Production, production, progress. All right. Affluence, ascending in life in your 20s, because the biggest thing about this is in your 20s, you will have the most strength. You will have the most energy. I'm 33 right now. And when I was 23, now at 33, bro, I still move like I'm in my 20s. Like I got a lot of energy, bro. I can outrun and run circles around most men in their 20s these days, bro. Trust me on that, G. I, I will straight up blow past 20-year-olds physically. But when I was 23, I was in way better physical condition. Yes, I'm a lot stronger now in my 30s because I, I think in your 30s and 40s, you start to get that grown man strength. Like, it's a different type of strength versus lifting weights and the grown man strength. Any Anybody in their 30s and 40s, maybe 50s, you know what that grown man strength is. It's just strength that come out of nowhere, G. Like, you just strong. You can pick up shit that you would have to lift weights in your 20s to be able to lift. All right, guys, but overall, overall, I'm a much more physical condition when I was in my 20s. I heal faster. I recover faster. It's easy. It was easier for me to build muscle. My reactions were quicker in my 20s, and that's just physically. OK, guys, but mentally, it was easier for me to learn things in my 20s because I wasn't programmed as I am now in my 30s. I didn't have a lot of bad experience and bad memories you know, to counteract the wisdom that I was getting in my 20s. All right, guys. And then another thing, in your 30s and your 40s, you are, you are a lot wiser. You have the capability to make better decisions because you have more things to lose. Okay, guys. So you can deal with women in your 30s and your 40s because you will make better judgment. All right, guys, because you've seen more things, you've, you've experienced more things. You got money in your pocket now, so you don't have time to be wasting it on women. But when you're in your 20s, guys, any little piece of dollar you get, you blowing it. All right. It's, and this is most people. This is not all people for all, of all police who ever want to come for me. This is most guys. All right, fellas. But my point, the main point of this whole video is to tell you when you are in your 20s, your priority should be building yourself. Your priority should be developing. Your priority should be getting better and building yourself up to the man that you need to be. 
because this is what I see a lot in today's dating market. A lot of these young dudes, 22, 23, 24, mid-20s, you guys are complaining about how women don't want you. Bro, you are a 23-year-old loser. You haven't accomplished anything. You don't have anything that tells a woman's hypergamy that you can take care of her, you can protect her, you can possibly provide for her. All right, guys, this is why, this is another reason why you guys need to wait because your view on the dating market is skewed because you're not even supposed to be dating that young G. All right, guys, so you're getting rejected and you're getting turned down and you're getting ghosted. Why? Because you're still a baby, bro. You haven't developed yet. Men age very slow. A 40-year-old man is like a 24 or 5-year-old woman. They almost have the same value. All right, guys, so most men don't get their value to later on in life. This is why you're not successful with women at this early age because you're not supposed to be. All right. And another thing, women usually want to date in men older than them because with age comes wisdom, with age comes provision and women understand this naturally. All right, guys. So you do not need to be dating in your 20s. I'm sticking to my guns on this. There's going to be some guys that say, oh, no, there's nothing wrong with dating in your 20s. What if you have your shit together in your 20s? Gee. If you have your shit together in your 20s, I'm not talking to you. But most men don't have their shit together in their 20s. Those are the guys who I'm talking to in this video. This is why you need to wait to date. Wait to date, G. All right? It's your boy, KD. I appreciate you guys for tuning in today. Shout out to all my new subscribers. And if you haven't liked the video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't grabbed one of my top tier fragrances, hit me up on Instagram. You can DM me and order your bottle today. Also, if you need a one-on-one -on -one coaching call to help you solve some of these problems in your life, whether it's business, finances, women, fitness, spirituality, whatever it is to help you become a top tier man, I am here for you and I got your back. It's your boy KD. We out of here, baby.